think <laughs> it's yeah. going to be a long one. <laughs> I think people can take more, they can gain more authority over their own health and healthcare decisions. They become more autonomous. Health care systems all around the world are struggling with overwhelm. So I think when we start thinking fascia, it enables us to use a lot of, to add in some treatment approaches, some self-care approaches that are more natural and potentially less harmful, less expensive, more accessible and empowering. Hold there. On the plate. How do we explain that really simply? And when I was teaching students, I heard myself saying, body's like a living wetsuit. And I started using that with my clients. And I thought, yeah, this is a really good concept. It's like all they really need to know is that, you know, the flesh is like a garment over the skeleton. It's a onesie. And, you know, and if you've got a, a sore shoulder, you might have something going on in your hip or in your, in your foot. Now it's coming. I think the um, pinpoint views of science and the high specialism and elitism, has, it's very useful, but we can't stop there. If we're going to do any research, if we're going to be getting, accepting public um, research funding, we are obliged to make sure that our work is being used to benefit society. Their, their doctors and Google are going to give them pictures about different body parts. And that's very, very useful. But I think if we're going to explain how it relates to them as individuals and their whole and alive bodies, yes, we need to talk about fascia. Uh, but we need to talk about it simply. It doesn't need to be complex.